Welcome to the wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day, Episode 2. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and this is Episode 2 of the wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. If you haven't seen Episode 1, how this shave began, I've got a link for you right in the description. You can click on that and see how this all began. Now, what we're using tonight is my Magnetic Silver Steel. Okay, this is a beautiful razor out of the early 1930s. I'm thinking full hollow, guys. Really nice. Original, just beautiful razor. And shaves really well. All right, and for our soap tonight, we're using Barrister Man Lata Limon. All right, this is lemon, orange, and rose. Oh, just a marvelous scent. It really is quite nice. And in the description, I will go ahead and have the full ingredient list and the scent profile there for you as well, okay? Plus, in the description, I will also have links to make it convenient to find all the things I'm using in the shave as well, all right? Next, we are using my Omega 10,098. It is loaded. That means this is episode two. So let's get going. So guys, how's your week going so far? You know, you having a good week? I hope so. Yeah. So far for me, going well. No big surprises, nothing happening out of the ordinary except for the ordinary <laughs> so that's good yep how about you guys are you uh, having a good work week and is work going well for you you know are you guys getting ready for christmas or what Yeah, it's a busy uh, time of year, it really is. So it can get crazy. Yeah, we got what, just about a week for Christmas. Actually, not even a week, right? So that's cool. And we got Christmas and New Year's this year on Sunday, which is also kind of cool. Oh yeah, look at that lather. Beautiful. So hopefully you guys are also are having some good shaves, huh? Are you having good shaves? Let me know. You know, how are your adventures in wet shaving going? That would be interesting. I'm videoing mine for you guys. So it'd be cool to find out about you guys. So now this is episode two of the Wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. So this is going to be a pass and a half. All right.
Nice. Look at that soap. Look like a wing. <laughs> that is really gray. Okay, nice. Get that cleaned off. All right, now I am taking my time here because this is one of my more aggressive razors. Now, the problem is I'm also drying out. So, no rules. 
being wet shaving guys just go ahead put some more soap on wet it wetting it up get it going get the right consistency You know, some of my less aggressive razors, I just, I can move a little bit more quickly. But not with this one. At least not yet. You know, these things, I think it will come. It's just a matter of time. And actually, you know, for new guys out there and everything, no reason to rush. Just just do it. Have fun. Enjoy it. Right? And take your time. No rush. No big deal. There's no uh, time clock. I shave in the evening after work, so I got all night if I need it. There you go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Got that soap at the right consistency again. Working well. Yeah, there we go.
Okay. Pass two of the shave complete and in the books. Now, let's get that washed off. See how we did? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Again, those cheeks are right where we want it. Right where we want them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Next up is the half pass. This is just going to be my jawline and my neck, okay? That's all we do for the half pass. So I do a two and a half pass shave. I don't do a full three pass shave. I don't need it. All right? Mm, excuse me. You will have to figure out for you what can you do to get that good shave. Is it two passes? Is it a three pass shave? Or is it something in the middle like me? I have a two and a half pass and that's what works for me. I don't need the third complete pass. All right. Okay, we're gonna reach around. Hmm. There you go. Get that a little bit better. Oh yeah, nice. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right, so now that stretching is so important. You need to stretch, not overstretch, okay? That, that, that can cause problems as well, but you stretch and you can torch your face and get that, that skin nice and taut. Nice. All 
Okay. There you go. And another shave in the books. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, that's good. Wow. All right. So, next, Alum Everywhere. Okay, and we'll dry that off. All right, now for our aftershave, Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. Now this is lemonade for the face, guys. Really, really good stuff. Refreshing. And you can just go ahead and put that everywhere. Absolutely. Okay. Next, for our cologne kind of thing, we're doing Osage Rub. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. And now again, a little bit of this does it. Wow. Mmm. That is so good. And really refreshing. Now to top this shave off, Nivea Post Shave Balm. Alright. Good for the face again. Again, we're getting that everywhere. Okay, there you go. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. Click right over here to see episode one if you missed how this shave began. Click down here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.